Ramana Maharishi said, ask who am I? And when he said, yes, I am, I know, my name is so and so, I belong to so and caste, so and so, so caste, so religion. No, no, those are not the answers. The 33rd story from the gateless, get from the Zen flesh, Zen bones. This mind is not Buddha. A monk asked Basho, what is Buddha? Basho said, this mind is not Buddha. <laughs> what is Buddha? The moment the question comes itself, you can understand that person who is asking that question is coming with a borrowed knowledge. Are this Buddha? You don't have to know what is Buddha. You don't have to know what is your father. You don't have to know what is your strength. You do not have to know what is poverty, what is richness, what is art. You do not have to know what is I. You do not have to know what is meditation. You do not have to know what is asanas and pranayama because you have experienced. Once you have not experienced, you keep jumping and hopping from one ashram to another to learn asanas and pranayama and dhyana. And you reach nowhere. You have to experience. That's why Ramana Maharishi said, ask who am I? And when you said, yes, I am, I know, my name is so and so, I belong to so and caste, so and so, so caste, so religion. No, no, those are not the answers. Your strength is when you utilize the totality. When you lose a deep intimate relationship with nature, you have to be in deep intimate relationship with the nature. And that comes only when you are free. You wanted freedom. You want democracy. You do not want to listen to anybody. But at the same time, you are a slave to all the advertisements. You are a slave to all what is happening around you. You do not know how to utilize your money. Anything and everything attracts you. You have got no control on your mouth. And you become a fat, dirty pig. You have got no control on your mind. And you have a loose motion of trying to think anything and everything is bad except you.